Hey, Dr. Shaki here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, your Irvine Wellness Chiropractic Facility. Stay tuned for this video, which has to do on how to save your back and your neck and your mid back when lifting something heavy. So stay tuned. <laughs> about this for a moment it's summertime a lot of people are doing a lot of um, gardening uh, people are at home a lot more so they are really engaging in activities they're not used to and I'm seeing a lot of people with neck upper back and lower back issues um, as a result of the activity I'm all for it I think that's fantastic what I want you to do is make sure after you watch this thing and we'll include the link for this uh, on how to engage a barrel so imagine this right here. You have an abdominal diaphragm and you have a pelvic diaphragm here. So to engage a barrel is creating that cylinder of air or pressure, which just imagine a nice big size barrel, that this barrel gets bigger and thinner, but you don't lose the top and the bottom of the barrel. So when you're lifting things, that are heavy. You don't want to be doing this, hugging it and then lifting it with your lower back and go into an extension and exert so much pressure that everything after your activity is over is all messed up. What you want to do is you want to engage that barrel. So watch the video to better understand what that's all about. Just like those arrows are going down, that's the direction of holding, not holding your breath, but creating that cushion of, um, we'll call it air, it's not air, pressure, that creates that balloon-like comfort into this area and support so you don't hurt yourself. So what you wanna do is you wanna bend down and not, not sticking your butt out, but bending down with a neutral spine, grabbing whatever it is, using it to lift up. When you're lifting up, you shouldn't be allowing your scapula, your shoulder blades to roll forward. And now you're gonna be doing this to get up. You're gonna grab it, whatever, le whatever force or strength you have with your arms is what's gonna take to lift that item. If you don't have it, you gotta make it lighter. You gotta ask for help. <sighs> Sorry, if you don't have help, Break it down into smaller chunks so you can lift it up. Be smarter than what you work with. This is causing so much issues and now the one thing that you wanted to do, to be active, to do let's say gardening, now you're off commission and in your mind you're thinking, I can't do gardening, so there goes that activity. That's not the solution. So use your body like a tabletop, tabletop if you were this way, and neutral spine, and you don't allow your scaps to roll forward because now the scaps have to pull back before your muscles in the arms are engaged to do the lifting. Keep it there and use your arm strength as the gauge. Is this thing too heavy for me to lift? Is that too much for me to do? Evaluate before you actually do the job. Anyway, Pretty common sense, but sometimes we just don't see it that way. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you want to see a lot more practical videos, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website with a lot more information on how to live your life the healthy way. Thanks for watching. Take care.